Hey, what's going on guys? It's Gathalion and welcome back to How to Twitch. In this series I tell you about Twitch streaming and what kind of stuff you need to do to Twitch stream and what's important and what's not important. And today we're going to talk about the game you choose, man, because the game you choose to stream on Twitch is vitally important to the growth of your channel. And uh, I'd like to start off by saying this is the most important part. Stay true to yourself, dude. Uh, if you're someone who can't stick to one game for a long time, then maybe variety streaming is for you. Though I will warn you, variety streaming is the hardest thing to grow your stream off of, as it doesn't really give you a good amount of time to get a certain directory used to seeing you and to build a community in X directory. Though there have been a fair amount of people that have done really, really well inside variety streaming, they tend to have kind of a home base, kind of a home genre that they call their own. And um, if you do start off as a streamer that streams a specific game or a specific type of game, you can eventually break off into variety streaming, though sometimes that might not work out so well for you. So let's talk about the game that you pick. Pick something that you know a good amount about, something that you might be very good at. Uh, being extremely good at a game is not super important, but I will say that if you uh, are at least decent at a game and know a good about, amount about it, then you'll be able to answer questions in chat, and you've talked about how chat is important. So picking a game that you enjoy, that you know quite a bit about, is a good jump off point for Twitch, whether or not it might be a popular game. Also, jumping into a new IP as a streamer is also a great idea. New IPs as in like Destiny, when that came out, there was no other game in the Destiny history before Destiny. Sunset Overdrive is another um, another example for this. So games that there are no previous games for that specific franchise. It's really good and it's really helpful to jump into a directory like that for as far as building your stream. Otherwise, stick to games that you know a lot about and you really enjoy. Having fun is key. If you're choosing to do a game just because it's popular, just because you see something um, somebody else getting views, just because you see other people getting tons of followers and subs and this and that and the other thing, if you jump into it specifically trying to jump on a bandwagon, I've always felt like viewers catch wind of that. Now, there's nothing wrong in playing a new game when it's out, because a lot of streamers do that, and sometimes you can see a lot of channel growth that way, but specifically jumping into a genre or a, or a directory or a title or a franchise simply because it's popular is not a great idea. And a good example of that is League of Legends. And you see a lot of people doing League of Legends because League is extremely popular. And it's commonly thought that if I'm a League streamer and I do this and I do this, then I could build my stream on Twitch. And some of these people that you see might not know anything about League or they don't even seem like they enjoy it. I personally, don't enjoy it, so I wouldn't stream it. I understand why other people enjoy it, but it's not for me, hence, no league streams. So yeah, guys, always remain true to yourself when you're choosing a directory. You can be strategic about it when you're jumping into a new IP or into a new release, but always, always, always be true to what is fun for you, because if it's fun for you, it'll be fun for your audience. As always, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you back in How to Twitch.